Sensor scan to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons or advancements. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David, and I can hear an echo. Amy, is that you? I don't know, I can't hear it. I'm Probably bla- then. I'm blaming you because I can. Also joining me tonight, we have... Scarecrow. Good evening. And Stuart, the news guy. Hello. It's a miracle he hasn't been fired yet. Yes. So, anyway, on tonight's podcast, we have the bumped segment from last week. Boba Fett, did he kill Luke's... Uh, un- G-relative people. I know who I mean. <laughs> I'm Bruin Alcalone. Yeah, them. Those those guys. Wow, and I'm... Uh, he, he's actually related to them. Yeah, I, I'm well aware. Sort of. He's sort of related to them. I'll probably bring it up eventually. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. And last but not least, we may or may not have had a sneak peek at Inner Dimension. And we're going to have a bit of a chat about it. Just because we can. So... Let's get the party started with Boba Fett. Stuart, do you want to give us a lowdown on the hypothesis? I'll take over from here. Fifth. So there was a article that came out last week. We were going to try and cover on, on the podcast last week, but we kind of ran out of time with everything. Just want to say something really quick. Hi, Jody. We see you. Hello. Okay, continue. That sounded so creepy. <laughs> that was way too creepy. Anyway, back, creepy back to Creeper mode has been engaged. <laughs> there was a article that came out that um last week uh, we're going to try and cover it that a po- that possibly Boba Fett uh could have taken out uh, um. Uh, Luke's uh, aunt and uncle on Tatooine and there is plausible evidence to back this up as well okay so uh, let's just sort of break it down what I really should have done is had that article open Uh, I'm blaming you Stuart you distracted me so anyway Uh, start with the um, details I'm assuming you've got it open in front of you uh, no, but I've got to memorize it anyway. Yeah. Stuart the, Stuart the Star Wars guy is what he is tonight. Yep, I gotta go back home. So, yeah, Star uh, Wars or Star Wars? Star Wars. <laughs> Star Wars. Anyway. Yes, anyway. Uh, what it was, it was an article coming up um, back during episode 4 when Luke uh, realizes that um, they went after his his um, aunt and uncle. He goes back on the lands of Peter and rushes back to his place to find everything in complete tattered ruins, burnt and disintegrated. Now, this is where it gets interesting. Because in episode 5, when Vader is on, is Vader on the de- on um, the Star Destroyer and he's talking to all the bounty hunters and he's wanting them to catch a Han and the rest of the crew, he's like, he specifically says, I want them alive. Then he specifically looks at Boba Fett and says, "No disintegrations." Yeah, it's that's sort of the line that won Boba Fett, Boba Fett. Like, if you know what I mean. If it wasn't for the no disintegrations, then there it wouldn't have been sort of that guy that everybody sort of loved and that the most popular yeah. non-character in the history of non-characters. Because on screen, he's, 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 he's not a character and you know it. No. Also, another um, another thing that was pointed out is the tracks. When, they're, when, um, when they, um, they find the, uh, the Jawa uh, transporter, 
on yeah. Tatooine. They find this. They find those tracks, but they're not. They're not Tusken Raider tracks, and they're not Stormtrooper tracks. Yeah. Ah, oh, I found the article. <laughs> someone deliberately put set, uh, put tracks down to try and um, hide it, which is a known bounty hunter technique to get people off the scent. Yeah. And the, the, the dude actually goes in a decent amount of detail. For those who want to know, it's actually on moviepilot.com. So if you Google Movie Pilot, Boba Fett killed who in Star Wars, it should come up. So it's who killed Luke's uh, uncle Owen and Aunt Beru. Yes. Um, and those, for those who don't know who how those are related... I've got to get this right... Um, mm -hmm. after Anakin leaves in episode one, um, Shimmy Scarf, who's Anakin's mother, remarries, and the, and who she marries is, um, um, Owen's father, I believe. Yeah. So, therefore, they are, they are actually related. Not by blood, but... Yeah, but, uh, sort related. of step-uncles and stuff. But yeah. yeah. Um, so, anyway, the, the, the article goes into details along the lines of why it couldn't have been stormtroopers. The assault on their homestead was completely out of character for a stormtrooper attack, seeing as the rest of their approach seemed to rely largely on checkpoints in former's yeah. interrogations. So, yeah. Um, Darth Vader ordered the search for the droids, wasn't in the habit of allowing prisoners to be executed. Also technically true. Um, uh, instead, every action he takes throughout the movie suggests that he's a big fan of actually interrogating prisoners before blasting them out an airlock. Yes, yeah. which is another, which is actually a, a Sith um, thing. Yeah, a lot of Sith protagonists use um, a lot of um, use a lot of mind tricks to get into, into their people's heads before they actually kill them. Yeah. Um, number three. And this is the third point why it couldn't have been stormtroopers. An intense micromanager like Vader um, would surely have been aware that his step relations, the Lars, lived in the area that was being investigated. Would he really allow them to be killed, having left them to live in peace on Tatooine for so many years? Or for that matter, for lowly, uh, lowly stormtroopers to accidentally learn of their relationship to him? N that one seems a little bit sort of retconny to me, to be honest. Yeah. Very red, Connie. So, uh, like obviously, he knows the place because he visited there in episode two. But yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, that one I don't really believe. Yeah. Uh, well, see, I view that one more as mainly because retcon as a result that those characters weren't necessarily introduced as relations to him until many, 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 many years after these first few, three movies were made. So, I feel it as retconning more than anything else. Um, uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Um, yes. Personally... So, could, could, let, let's do it. Keep going. Go, go to it. I'm still okay. reading the thing. And then we'll, yeah. we'll get to our opinions. Yeah. So, um, back, want... and also, uh, back in episode 4... Um, over, uh, ben, I'm gonna call him Ben in this because they refer to him too much as Ben Kenobi. Yep. Old Old Ben uh, says that um, it couldn't have been um, stormtroopers when Luke comes back because stormtroopers are precise. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Oh, stormtroopers yeah. precise. <laughs> stormtroopers versus red shirts. The stormtroopers miss every one of them and they all die anyway. Hey. And the and the stormtroopers <laughs> aren't imprecise. Clone troopers. Are the precise ones exactly that's one of the key points um that he which makes which is interesting w when it comes to boba because this brings me to my next point why boba yes boba is the only clone who was not altered that aged at a regular yeah. age yep he's the only one who did not go through the altering process he grew up naturally so, I, so the way I see it, he still he has the accuracy of everything, but he has the play wasn't altered. Yeah, which Plus, means he's, also, a, he's, he's probably the the last clone trooper equivalent alive, alive that isn't sort of a hundred million years Plus, old. Plus, Django was accurate as hell anyway. Yeah, 
Well, For those who don't know, Django was Boba's dad. Yeah. Well, technically Boba is Django's clone, but semantics. Well, put yeah. it aside. He's the only person who they was... They raised him as a kid. Yeah. Yeah. C considering um, the people Obi-Wan fought in those movies, I'd say that his hardest fight by a great distance was against Django. Django. Oh, yeah. He's easily... So, yeah. Anyway, yeah. back back to back to to Boba Fett. Yeah. So he, let's put it this way: he had motive. Um, yeah. if presumably Just there would have been that. a ridiculous bounty on the droids to find them, he was near the scene. He was seen literally soon thereafter, standing right next to the hut himself, Jabba. Or should I say, Pizza the Hut? <laughs> Pizza the Hut. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Spaceballs references. Exactly. So, um... Spaceballs authorization has been revoked. Yeah. Um, and... Darth Vader totally references the fact that he did it. Now, this one, I think, is more retconny as well. Yeah. It's just, um... He... Yeah, he just sort of... No, the, that's the, digressions, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, the, the quote he says to them is like, you are free to use any methods necessary, but I want them right. Then blatantly looks at Bobo, points, points at him and says, no disintegrations. Yeah. Because, face it, who are the only people who got disintegrated in all of the original trilogy? The Jawas and his aunt and uncle. Yeah, exactly. No one else got disintegrated. Yeah. I just realised something. Just realised something. Looking at the still, because the, the page has got a still picture of the the bodies. It looks yeah. like the one closest to camera's brain is oozed out of the top of their head. <laughs> yeah. It's like really, it's like really messed up. Um. So yeah. So the, the the hypothesis goes that he was the one that killed them, and then they sort of blamed it on stormtroopers. I know it's very retconny, but. Um, Why? Yeah. Why not? Exactly. It works. It makes more sense than some of the other stuff they said. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Suddenly, a stormtrooper learned how to s how to aim. Also, with a gun that you can't aim use with. Disintegration rays. Yeah. So so. They never use disintegration rays ever. Exactly. The only the only gun I know of in the Star Wars verse that is a disintegrator ray is a Tenchlos sniper rifle. And they're not standard stormtrooper equipment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As much as you'd love to pay, play with one. <laughs> I, yeah, same. I would say that's what she said, but she literally said it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now. <laughs> so anyway, stop assisting my girlfriend in plotting my imminent destruction. <laughs> that is so much fun. So, yes, Rebecca, we, I totally agree. Jabba would not appreciate being called Pizza the Hut, but come on, Spaceballs can't be missed. After all, in Spaceballs, <laughs> he literally ate himself to death. That's just great. Um, and what is, <laughs> what is this fuckery a stormtrooper knows how to aim? Yeah, I know. It's like stormtroopers are like the Wraith Hive from um, in Stargate Atlantis at the beginning of Season 3. He's like... Uh, Shepard's like, but so as McKay's like, we we've got no targeting systems. We we couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. And Shepard's like, but hives are really big. He's like, giant flying space barn can't hit it. That's effectively <laughs> effectively how stormtroopers aim. Look, it it takes them a giant space station to hit a planet with one laser. That should really be concerning about how inaccurate they are. Like, Maybe they outsourced to George Lucas's training academy. <laughs> yeah. So uh, you know, outsourcing is the bane of all things sentient. Oh yes. <laughs> so yeah. Um, <laughs> well, we know we know Vader would would never have done any blaster training. He hated the things. Yeah. So. The only t only time Vader likes a blaster is when it's um. Mounted to his starfighter. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, actually, yeah. He goes. Um, according to Rebecca, it's like here, 
Have a gun. Have right. fun. Done. That's their, that's their training. That's all they need. Done. That yep. actually totally explains the elite forces in Star Wars. Yep. The, the fact that the elite forces are absolutely rubbish, and the not elite forces can actually get close to hitting the guys, really says something about Stormtroopers. Hell, Obi-Wan Kenobi <laughs> aims better and he hates so and he hates blasters. Exactly. I mean, uh, he managed to kill Grievous with a blaster. How ironic. Yeah, well, I like, um, in... What's it called? Star Wars Rebels. But spoiler alert, if you're watching it and you don't want the ending ruined, just mute for about <laughs> 30 oh, seconds. Oh, yes! Kanan the... with the lightsaber. Oh, Kan Kanan with the lightsaber pistol thing going, pow, pow, oh. pow, whiz, 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 pow, 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 whiz, whiz, whiz. <laughs> It's like, and Ezra's, and Ezra's just like, why didn't I think of that? Yeah, exactly. It's like, Dave. <laughs> yeah. Did you have to put it that way? Because that just sounded like you were having a lot of fun in the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, hurry up. It is so much cool to say, Wayhawk. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay <laughs> on target. <laughs> oh no. It's gone rampant. It's gone wild. It's gonna miss. Okay. Let's continue on. Yeah. All right. So Skip the outside. All right, uh, let's get back on a little bit of. Let's get back on the subject a little bit. We'll start with Amy. Boba Fett, innocent or guilty? Um, guilty. Guilty. Stuart, innocent or guilty? I'm actually going to go innocent. Innocent. On yeah, what? On I what grounds? Think, I don't think. I don't think it was Boba. What I actually. What I think would happen. Is that some stupid how? I think I think the t the Raiders did it, and that so for some st some stupid reason somehow they managed to get blasters on their hands. Because if you actually remember in Episode One, they sort of have sniper rifles. Yeah. So I think somehow they got some uh, they got their hands on something. Maybe they stole yeah. Imperial shipment. Yeah. Possible. Okay. Well, they could have just done the smart thing and go to your local friendly hut weapons dealer. Yeah. We'll sell to anyone. Uh, Dave, Boba Fett, innocent or guilty? I have to say, I can't call this one. There is... So, yeah, this is a court of law, right? Yeah, effectively. We're essentially, we're essentially charging Boba with war crimes. Yeah, effectively. Not really enough... We're, 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 we're charging Pluto, Boba Fett... Thing... We're charging Boba Fett with two crimes. War crimes? Badassery. Boba Fett's badass enough anyway. <laughs> but if I remember correctly, we're talking disintegrations, correct? Correct. Yes. Then if we're accusing him of disintegrating Owen and Beru, then not guilty. He didn't do it very well, remember, he did. If, exactly. He left a, skelet a smoking skeletal <laughs> corpse. That's not disintegrated. That's just That's having just... fun with flamethrowers, and that is a standard stormtrooper weapon as well. <laughs> Take this Jeff badass, like, sorry, we cannot handle the badass. Hundred percent. See, that's 100%. why he got eaten by a Sarlacc. Exactly, and then he escaped the Sarlacc. That has and not then been. Got, and that has then... not been confirmed because he has a rocket pack. Yeah. Well, the, uh, I've been told many times from people who read the extended universe. I haven't, but I've been Including told that myself, he, he, get, he gets Sarlacc. He gets eaten by it. He escapes it. He gets eaten by it again. Yeah. He escapes it again. And he gets eaten by it a third time. I'm still confused as to how something that is buried in the ground and doesn't move from a single fucking planet manages to successfully eat the same guy three times. Star Wars logic, folks. <laughs> so, his so equipment did... has glitches. <laughs> Don't forget, his equipment is old by the time they duplicated it for the clones. Yeah. Yes. Spare parts are getting a little bit hard to come by. Yeah. But... But still, it's a ten meter circle on a planet. He's still. It, it, it's 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 like. And not, how many times does his backpack <laughs> need to be sabered before something goes horribly wrong? Nah, yeah, fair point. Yeah. Anyway, you can only jury rig repairs so much. And besides, what's he using in that thing? Liquid rocket fuel? Oh boy, what can go wrong with that combination? Yeah, that's a fair point. Uh, okay, so moving on to topic number two. In a dimension. Now, uh... <laughs> Ooh, a circle. Let's jump in it. <laughs> uh... Ooh, 
with sand. Slide down. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Maybe uh, I'll just pay more attention to driving around on the surface of the moon right now. But, <laughs> but anyway, uh, next next subject. We've 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 ruled um, two guilty, one and two not guilty. So it's a hung jury. I am going to let the deciding vote be up to Rebecca in the chat. Is Boba Fett innocent or guilty? We wait for your response. It'll takes a you're a little bit behind us. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, oh, Boba Fett. How he became such a popular character. Guilty for <laughs> badass. Guilty for badass, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about guilty I'll for the badass part? Yeah. What about guilty for disintegrations? That's the main main thing. Um, well, he must have been done it quite a few times if he got told not to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it went crazy with it. I'm gonna keep shooting them! Yeah. So, effectively, what we've. Nah. Okay, so it is. Three not. to two. Boba Fett has been released as not guilty. It's killing fun. him. It's a <laughs> <laughs> okay, right? We never got her bad side. <laughs> yeah, okay. He is guilty. Okay, we've found him. Five to none, unanimously guilty of badassery. So, according to the Supreme Justice Rebecca in the chat room, that is a minimum ten years in prison. Um, and no, as I, for I, disintegrations, I, I, he has been found three to two not guilty. So I think that's fair. So anyway, it is. You hope so. Yeah, fair enough. Anyway, we're still gonna get we're still gonna get flamed by all the stars fans out there. Yeah, of one. course. Oh, screw them. <laughs> yes. No, thank you. you. You definitely have your priorities right. <laughs> yeah, I'll pass on that one with Amy. That's uh, not my job. Yeah. Unless you're offering. <laughs> no, Jodie would kill me. <laughs> and hello, Rails. We have found you. Back on track. Here we go. In a dimension. For those that don't know, Inner Dimension is a web series being made by a good friend of the show by the name of... I have totally forgotten. <laughs> That's oh. Bonus points for fail. Yeah, bonus points for fail. I'm fired wah, for... Wah, wah. I'm fired for being fail. Um, Kasha... Wow, I can't say that name. I'm going with Kasha. <laughs> I'm, yeah, we'll I'm sorry, I, I don't even know how to... I can barely spell your last name. I'm sorry. But, she, yeah, she, she's a good friend of the show. Um, let us have a look at a sneak peek at her web series. Um, called Inner Dimension. So, we're allowed to talk about it, but we're not allowed to spell spoilers. So, if you're here for spoilers on a show you've probably never heard anything about, you've come to the wrong place. So, we've watched episode 1. Episode 2 and 3 get progressively better, according to her. Um, which is really good. She, they crowdfunded it. It's come up looking absolutely brilliant. The, the old podcast, actually, we had her on that and did a show with her. She's absolutely fabulous. Unfortunately, it is like 3 o'clock in the morning in the States. Otherwise, she probably would have joined us. Um, so, anyway, the, the four of us sat down and watched it. And um, so it's about time we do the review. Let's start with Amy, just because you're the first on my Skype list. What did of course, you... I begin with A. Yeah. What did you think? It was different. Um, it needed a little bit more of a kick to start it. But other than that, it was pretty good. Yeah. I'm curious to see what happens with the football guy. Because, like, yeah... I just find it unusual the whole um, people vanishing in orphanages and no one notices. Yeah, but it's an orphanage. According to Dragon Ball Z abridged logic, they don't belong to anyone, so no one will miss them. Oh, jeez, he went there. Yeah. I, 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 Ouch. I blame Dragon Ball Z abridged and I take no responsibility for it beyond that point. Being Yikes. warned. Oh. <laughs> oh, son of a... Alright, so, Stuart, what do you think? 
Uh, yeah, I found it. Uh, I. What? Jeez, Rebecca's office is exactly the same. No one cares about the orphans. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh I, I, get, I get that reference. Mm. Please, sir, can I have some more? <laughs> more! <laughs> anyway. Mm. Um, yeah, I found it a tad slow as well. And the, and the sleepwalking thing was a little weird. Yeah, uh, admittedly, the, the, the writing was a and the, tad and then, clunky, but... Other than that, I thought. When it gets to the, I can't. I want to go into detail. Uh, we're not technically allowed to go into detail. I know. I know. I know. When it gets to the good bit, it finishes. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that was that was great at the end. Yeah. Um. Yeah. S stupid. Only allowed to talk about little details instead of the whole thing. You know what we like? No. We love we love spoilers, but I made a promise to Kasha that we'd mention it, we'd have a chat about it, but we wouldn't spoil it for everyone so that people can go and watch it. Because we want you guys to go and watch it, we want you guys to enjoy it, and we don't want to ruin it too much. Um, but, yeah, it, it, overall I actually enjoyed it. I've watched it about three times now. More because my internet is so crappy it takes hours for it to buffer. <laughs> Stupid crappy internet. Um, goes for about 20 minutes takes about an hour to buffer it yeah stupid crappy australian internet anyway <laughs> i really enjoyed it there was a couple of parts that were really weird like the chick in the heels now that, oh, that had, that had the, buzz, the the flying things what like, were those i had no idea but that looked like the most awkward costume to wear like yeah like a million year high heels on that sort of surface i was like yeah that's a broken ankle or six yeah. You know, actually, you know what the bug things reminded me of? What? It reminded me of the, um, of the chick from Men in Black 2, like, the villain chick. With the tie- with the tentacles? Yeah. Yeah. Just- just to remind me a bit of that. It sort of reminded me of, um, Elf and Lied, and how they- oh, wow. had, had the invisible hands? Yes. Like that. Yeah. In all honesty, for me, it- had a bit of a early vibe similar to what the librarians has yeah but it didn't grab me quick enough to hold my interest by the end of the the first ep i was really just going why am i watching this still because i'm forcing you to and you don't have a say in the bloody matter that's why you're watching it <laughs> <laughs> And if you could see my screen right now, you'd know what I'm think what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> no, so, yeah. no, it's it will see. I look at it through the lens of it being a web series, so you don't expect Avengers from a web series. That would be awesome, but you, you don't. Um, she's got multiple episodes that are in production. I thought the the transition effect when. Uh, how do I explain it without totally screwing the story? Um, the the oh, transition the effect fun. from when they're sleepwalking to the parallel dimension oh, yeah, that, thing? That was cool. That was, that cool. was cool. That was cool. That was, Anyone looking for a mirror? Yeah, and that, the, the, the trippy that was... in, in a, inside the mirror thing was pretty cool too. Although I still don't get the guy in like the 1950s outfit. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look... Yeah, he gets That'll explained later. later. It, it gets yeah, explained I, later. I, I, I can't I talk about I, it, unfortunately. I think I have a theory behind it. Okay, well, let's hear... The, the, as, as I, long as this... I have a feeling that he's been trapped in that dimension since, like, the 1950s, and, it, and he hasn't aged. That'd be pretty cool. I have a feeling once you're in there, you don't age and you're trapped. But that's just a theory. Yeah, I... I... It'd be pretty cool, but it would also suck big time yeah it's it's sort of like the age-old immortality thing do you want immortality but you've got to watch everybody you know and love grow old and die or do you want do you not want immortality and to not have and, and, yeah i'd never want immortality i wouldn't mind living for ten thousand years the no. first first century would whiz by and then after that spaceships i win <laughs> eh, nah. Boring. Nah. 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 Okay, how about this? Since we've blasted through all of our topics... <laughs> in, like... <laughs> Holy 
crap, we have two. This is why we only have three. Yeah, well, well let's. Well, I can go. I've let's, got one. Let's do the. Well, if Stuart's. Well, whoa, whoa. Stuart's got a topic? Yeah. <laughs> Little Wars. We're, hmm. we're going back to Star Wars a bit here. Oh, back to the wars, eh? Yes. We're gonna. I want to. I want to delve into the uh, the news that was uh, released at the Disney shareholder um, uh, thing last week. The details about um, the standalone film and episode eight. Yes, go for it. So last week, I believe it was around Wednesday outside, so Tuesday American time. Disney had a uh, shareholders conference where they released uh, details about er, about. Uh, certain products coming up, so Frozen 2 is coming up. Yeah, yeah, you can grow. Yay! Frozen I... 2 Global Warming. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, and then so, there's a whole bunch of other things, and Star Wars news came out. What would be, no, no, actually, on the note of Frozen 2, what would be really funny? Frozen 2 Ice Age. And you just, for no reason whatsoever, you see them. You see Manny and the tiger yeah, and all of them. Yeah. Just, just, <laughs> like, what? They just casually walk through the background for no reason. Just, 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 just to be there. And every now and again, you see that squirrel pop up, look around, <laughs> and then disappear again. You're like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> Say hi to Scrat for me. Uh, and, that's and right, Scrat. I was trying to give his name. Frozen Two: The Quest for More Ice. Yeah. <laughs> just like baseball two reference there. Yeah. Sid the Sloth, Olaf, singing about oh. summer together. Okay, can we get back to the news I actually wanted to talk about? <laughs> Do we have to? No. It's it's your news and it's boring and nah. Yes, we have to. Okay, fine. Amy's made the call. She said that Stuart can talk. All right. So details came out about the standalone film and episode eight. We have a title for the standalone film next year. The title is Rogue One. This is interesting. That title was specifically given to the leader of Rogue Squadron at the time. No. Oh, just, I'm sold already. A random note. I just want to point this out. Disney did not do this at Comic Con. No. Disney so, did this at a shareholder meeting. Yeah. Disney. So, by any chance, do you know who you're talking with and dealing with? You're dealing with nerds. When it comes to nerds, everything must happen at Comic Con. If you'd announce this at Comic Con, the building would have spontaneously melted. Wouldn't have combusted. It wouldn't have exploded. The whole building would have just gone blah, blah, into a puddle of awesome on the ground, and nerds would have been laying there having seizures. Instead, you did it at a fucking shareholder meeting. What <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> No, no, see, I think we're gonna get I a guess they did. Blow. I think I know why they've done this, though. Why they did it this way. I... Okay. For the simple fact, if they had done this at Comic Con, there would have been people falling to the floor in nerdgasms, the building would melt, and then Disney would have to pay the liability. <laughs> I'll say this point. way, everyone rages out over the internet, and they're not responsible for any of it. Well, well, see, I, they, they could I, be responsible I, for the internet yeah. crashing. <laughs> They're scared of our nerd power. Yeah. <laughs> Damn straight they are. <laughs> they sense the disturbance in the force. <laughs> like a million voices crying out at all at once. Rebecca said that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, anyway. Yeah, I, still, I still think we're going to get a full blown proper trail of Comic Con. We should. There's there's no reason why they wouldn't. The movie comes out in... Or, or, May, the, or May 4th. Yeah. One of those two. One of those two. Because May the 4th is International Star Wars Day. Yeah. Anyway. So... And with the casting, we all know that Felicity jo uh, Jones is going to be in the standalone film. Yes. Well, there is a theory going around that she is going to play a female X-Wing pilot. Excellent. So that's bring on the X-Wings. Oh yes. yeah, tons and tons of X-Wings. The only thing I don't like about X-Wings oh. is that they can't maneuver for shit. Yeah. They, they, they go in a straight line like a missile. You tell it to turn yeah. left, and it's like, I must bank and turn casually like a fighter. It's like, but but you're in space. Uh, you, you, you don't have to... F f uh. You sound like Sky. It's what I do. <laughs> it's what I do. And, all right. It's and not exactly an attractive. No. And moving along to episode 8 news. Episode 8 has a release date. And the 
this is really awesome, this release date, because it is exactly 40 years and one day after Star Wars began. It is, drumroll please. For the record, worst drumroll oh, ever. Uh, uh, episode 8 will drop in theaters May 26, 2017. <laughs> I still think they should just release every Star Wars movie on May the 4th. No <laughs> other reason than May the 4th, because May the 4th. We'll That's see. it. He, he, May the 4th be with you? No. Actually, yes, go to it, go. He's actually the thing with the standalone and episode 8. It is actually less than five months between the two of the films. That is the shortest turnaround for Star Wars films. Ever. Like, yeah. in any, like anything they've ever done, is the shortest turnaround is less than five months, is what they're doing. Yeah. That is actually pretty impressive. Yeah. Yes, 2017, because it goes 2015 this year, we get episode 7. 2016, we get the standalone, and then 2017, we get episode 8. <laughs> well, I'll put the other plus side. At least JJ isn't in charge of Avengers yet. Oh, God. Lens <laughs> flares everywhere. It's like, it's like actually, no, I, I Man versus the Lens Flare. <laughs> actually, no, who'd be, who'd be worse? Michael, Michael Bay or, J, or um, JJ Abrams? I think we all know the answer to that. <laughs> I'll take JJ any day. Yeah. yeah. Nobody likes Michael Bay. Okay. We've st still got sort of... Yeah, okay. We'll do that next week. Alright, had a thought. Do it next week. Keep going, Stuart. Any other... Right, well, what or... was your thought? My thought was something that's totally unrelated. Oh. We, we can do it later. No, no, no. 20, 20, 2017 for episode 8. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to ruin Star Wars with the Lights again. No! Actually, to be fair, we've seen one lens flare, and I didn't mind it. It was during the um the teaser when they released it last year. Um, the Millennium Falcon was flipping on Tatooine, and then the the, the solar the solar yeah. flare of the sun. I didn't well, see, mind that the most. Uh, lens flares done tactfully <laughs> actually increase realism. So if they if the, you do one lens flare every now and again, it actually looks really really nice. It helps. You do lens flares like the bridge of the Enterprise, and all of a sudden, you don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah. Because who designs a bridge with lights that shine in your eyes from every single Thank direction? Thank <laughs> what a bright spark. Uh, this is going to be the earliest I've ever had to do the news. Yes, <laughs> do the news, and whatever Please, time no. we've got left, we might do my idea if we've got enough. Yes. All right. So, uh, Deadpool photo, sh uh, photo shoot has already happened. The shooting starts soon. Oh god. Oh, so, yes. so who is Deadpool shooting at this photo shoot? No, no, it's everyone. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Ryan Reynolds uh, uh, said on Twitter that he's act that um <laughs> is that uh um he, that he did a photo shoot and this is what he wrote. Curiously, the best thing about a hashtag Deadpool photo shoot is singing Dolly Parton songs full blast while heavily, heavily armed. Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see that in the movie so badly. <laughs> that would just be hilarious. Uh, I'm going to so laugh. If, if, Dead, if the Deadpool movie has that sort of sense of humor, it's going to be epic. Oh, yes. For sure. For sure, uh. for sure, for sure. All right. Uh, next thing, five things that that uh, comicbook.com want in Star Wars Rebels Season 2. And they are? Number one, Ahsoka training Kanan and Ezra, which we kind of already expect is probably going to happen. Yeah. Number two, more Rebel Cells, since it was re since that we know now that there's a full alliance. Yeah. So, we hopefully get to see a lot more people. Number three, the Empire getting some victories, which, to be fair, it has to be balanced out. Yeah. The, em the Empire does have to... In order for the Empire to remain a threat, there has to be losses on their side. Yeah. But they have to lose somebody. Actually, really quickly, here's a question. The Empire has to kill one character on that ship. Who should on they the kill? Forest. 
On the ghost? On the ghost. Um, Twi'lek. Twi'lek, the captain? Yeah, because, because Twi'lek um, and Kanan are a couple, and I think it will absolutely shatter him. Yeah. See, me, I'm... Uh, Unless if you count the soaker on the ship, then... No. No, I, I, she, I think Vader will inevitably kill her. Yeah. More than likely It'll... by sort of revealing who he is to her, and her just and sort she... of going, wait, what? <laughs> Dead. Yeah. Um, no, no, I was more thinking spray paint. What's her name? Oh, the, um, the Mandalorian chick. Yeah, her. Uh. Because that would break Ezra. Yeah. Because he's got this whole crush thing happening. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't think the, the Chewbacca wannabe would... Even if he died, I don't think that would <laughs> no be too... No one would care. Yeah. No one would care. He's so, he's so sarcastic. He's sort of like Jane from Chuck uh, from Firefly. You just... You know he's gonna... It's, it's gonna happen. It's just waiting for it. Yeah. Uh, number... Th- uh, that was... Th- sorry, number four. Keep the cast tight. So just sort of like keep the people and the ghost together. Like, sure, there's gonna be supporting people like Ahsoka and Senator Bale, but keep their story uh, calm together at its core as well. Yeah. Like, don't, don't, like, make, don't turn into, like, the Ahsoka show. Yeah. Not that I have anything wrong with Ahsoka. I think she's uh, awesome. Well, I gotta... Uh, it's, curr- it's not really her show anymore. Currently, no. it's the Ezra show, so... Yeah. It's and effective- number five... Yeah. And no. number five, Ahsoka vs. Vader. Yeah. <laughs> it has to happen. It, it has, has to. to happen. Sooner or later. Yeah, it will happen. We just don't know how or when. Alright, moving on to some DC news. <laughs> specifically, the, specifically the Flash. During a panel in um, Pallyfest in Los, Al- Los Angeles, uh, Flash showrunner Greg Belanti said that they want to try and bring the Flash family in as soon as next season. So we could put... We could possibly have Wally and Bart Allen. That would be interesting. Who's Flash? Who's soon? Well, yeah. The thing is, if we go back and look at what we've had so far in Flash, we know that there's that um Barry's eventually gonna have to go back in time and stop, um, and try and stop uh, Reverse Flash from killing his mother or so. I, to, be, to, to be honest, I don't think that's what happened. I think no, that no, no. Barry was ultimately the one that... that Had yeah. to do it. Like, I wonder if it's like a sacrifice sort of thing. Yeah. It's sort of her sitting anyway, there Barry, do it! I love you! You know I love you! Ah, just the, kill me! Yeah. The thing with Bart Allen is that Bart, when he's introduced in Young Justice and all DC stuff, is he comes from the future. He comes from time travel. I think he somehow comes back in time and then tries to help Barry um, stop everything. That'd be interesting. And that's how, and that's how all the whole time travel ba- future, like, yeah. like adult, uh, Flash tries to do it. I think that's how that happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm, that, I'm curious. Because that would also explain how Reverse Flash is there as well. Yeah. And since Reverse Flash, and since you see that uh, Reverse Flash has access to the future newspapers, it would make sense. Yeah. And I'm sort of curious as to what's going to happen if it's someone else from the future appears, recognises Reverse Flash. It, exactly. It could yeah. be really interesting. Yeah. Um, and, with, and with New 52 as well, uh, they're changing uh, what, uh, um, who Wally West is. Wally West is not actually white. They're turning him um, into African American. That doesn't work. <laughs> I know. Well, no, that's not true. We've had an African American Spider-Man. Yeah, but they didn't... Did they call him Peter Parker? No, they call him Miles Mor- uh, Moranis. Moranis. Who is eating? I will kick your ass. <laughs> That's no not one. me. Amy. I'm not. All I can hear is paper going rustle, yeah, rustle, rustle. It as well. It's not me. Yeah. I'm going to blame Amy the noisy girl. <laughs> it's not me. Just because I can. Uh, anyway, uh, what other news you got? It's probably you. Uh, uh, potential spoiler. A certain Arrow character is going to return in Season 3. Oh god, it's not... Is it? Who do you think it is? <laughs> Rebecca. It's me. 
<laughs> Surprise! <laughs> no. Whether it's a dream, a hoax, or a hallucination, Shadow will eventually return to Arrow in Season 3. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> so, for those who don't watch Arrow, I'm going to briefly develop into this. During Oliver's time on the island, Shadow trained him to use the bow and was sort of his love interest. But um, he it had was... to ultimately choose between her and Sarah to live, and he chose Sarah and she got killed off. Yeah. And sort of Shadow haunts her and um, Slade. Slade. Haunts you... Slade catastrophically. Yeah. That's drove... also due to the fact of, of the Miracle. Yeah, it drove Slade totally nuts. And yes. yeah. Anyway. Hey, what other news? Slade was already pretty much a fruitcake, though. Yeah, yeah, I know. He's and an I Australian got, fruitcake. Mm, yeah. Australian fruitcake. I have to mention fruitcake. this. I have to mention this pure, for pure nostalgia reasons. Oh god. I know you wanted to go into this, but I gotta do this now. Original Digimon cast returned for for a new season. Yes. Yay? <laughs> Old news. So, yeah. I've known about this for about oh five months now. No, yeah, it's, but it's not gonna do it. In it's not the newest of news, but we don't care because we grew up on this, and I Amen just bought, to that, Reverend. I just bought me and uh, Stuart some all the Digicrest all the Digicrest from the states before the Aussie dollar reaches the point where it'll cost me six weeks' wages to do so. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So during uh, this year, why did you not ask if we wanted in on this? Because there was Jeez. only two. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Since this is the 15th um, anniversary of Digimon, they uh, the uh, company who made the original one, who I think is Toei, have decided to uh, re have decided to do a sequel to the original series called Digimon Adventure Try. It will pick up, I believe, uh, was it uh, five years after the end of the original season two. Five years after season two. Yeah. No, 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 no. Five years after season one, because that this follows. Good. This actually follows season one because they're actually seventeen-year-olds. It's not actually going to follow season two. There's no mention of season two. What? So that wouldn't work. I know, but somehow that's what they're doing. So yeah. basically, they realize that they fucked up with season two, and they're trying to retcon the universe out of it. It out Kinda, of the universe. Yeah. Yeah. What was season two again for the people like me who are retarded and can't remember? Season two. DNA uh, Digivolving. Uh, DNA Digivolving. Yes, Armored Digivolving. It was Davis and his team. So it was Davis, TK, Kyrie. Uh, oh, Kyrie. that's Kyrie. And Cody. Oh, and Ken. That's, that's right. So it's, it's effectively Digimon the second generation. I'm with you. Yeah, because and then TK... they had the other ones mentor them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah TK, TK and Kyrie is the only one uh, young up. enough to go back. Yeah. All the rest are too old. Yeah. Well, no, they go back, but they just can't stay as long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember that. I, I yeah. wasn't exactly sure which was season two and where they drew the that, the random arbitrary lines they draw for seasons in Digimon. True, it's very confusing half yeah. the time. Yeah. 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 Anyway. Uh, we... I still have more news. No, uh, you do? Uh... <laughs> Fine. You've got ten minutes, so just... make it quick. Can we just space him now and get it over with? Okay. <laughs> Continue on. <laughs> I dropped him out of the call. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> can can okay. we just do? Can I just do one statement? <laughs> what you said you wanted to be space, so we spaced you. <laughs> um, for Comic Con. <laughs> Yeah, Amy, you could go. Bri for Brisbane Comic Con. Oh, yes. Yes. We've got Amanda Tapping coming. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm really happy for it. About yeah. it. Yeah. Amanda Tapping. Oh, I must admit, Amanda Tapping is the second last of the SG1 leads that I haven't met. And she's you, on the evil. Yelled? Michael Shanks. She's on the Evil Crew, so I'm going to have to do up an A3 picture for the Evil Crew like I've got for the Good Crew. Just for her to sign. And she'll be the first person to sign it. So, that'll be cool. I don't think you're going to get Darth Vader somehow. 
Yeah. <laughs> Semantics. Um, from, me? from me about upcoming news. Yep. Uh, where does the Gold Coast Gold Coast Supernova? Yes, gonna be yeah. awesome. For those of us who enjoy Back to the Future, Doc Emmett Brown will be in attendance. Not only will he be in attendance, but for 110 bucks, you can get a photo with him and the motherfucking DeLorean. And to me, that is 110 bucks well spent, and then <laughs> some, because I'm gonna also, I'm gonna be my McKay <laughs> cosplay with my Stargate Atlantis tablet, and I'm gonna be pointing at the thing. Very confused. <laughs> also, if we're going to continue on uh, Supernova news, we're going to have three of the ori of um, Star Trek the original uh, the original series members there as well. Oh yes, I just bought my warp pass, which will allow me to have my photo taken with all three at the same time. Yes. So it is George Takei, who was Sulu. George Takai. Oh my. my. Oh my. Oh my. Hey, my, brother. my. <laughs> 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 Brother, what you gonna do when the Hawks are got the wrong, oops, yeah. wrong series? Okay. <laughs> fired. Yep, fired. Um, <laughs> I think we broke Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you watch George. That's what you get when you let people watch George to Kyrie. So yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's George, uh, Nichelle Nichols, who was um, Uhura. Um, Uhura. Uh -huh. And Walter Koenig, who was uh, Chekhov. Yeah. Look, Captain, it's a nuclear vessel! So I'm going to try and have a chat with Walter, because he was involved in a project that we actually, Save Sci-Fi, helped with. Nobility. <laughs> nobility? Yeah, nobility. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try and have a bit of a chat to him about that. I think Rebecca's fangirling at the moment. <laughs> what about... About uh, the supernova guests. Yeah, a little bit. So, just out of curiosity, Rebecca, how far away from the Gold Coast do you live? <laughs> uh, I'm guessing far right, judging by that answer. Yeah. Because they're not only doing uh, the Brisbane supernova, they're also doing, um, what's the Melbourne. Si Melbourne. Melbourne. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Dates for Gold uh, for uh, for Melbourne are April tenth to twelfth, and for Gold Coast April seventeenth to nineteenth. Sydney. Hey, you're in Sydney. You get you get you get you get Nathan Fillion. Don't complain. Exactly. I was just about to say you're in Sydney. You get Nathan Fillion. You win by default. We lose by default. And this, is it the sister? Is this, now, is this a good time to mention that that Amy and I are going to be down in Sydney working at a stall? X. So, swing by the 105th stall and say good day. <laughs> yeah. So, what is the sister um, con for the one that Amanda's going to? Isn't that Sydney for Sydney. Oscar Mothman? So, yes. Amanda's going to be in Sydney as well. So, you get to Don't, meet Amanda. Go see so, yes, don't get to see him though. Br yeah, it'll go Sydney, Brisbane, because Brisbane's the last stop for Oscar Con. Yeah. Yes. So look up Oz Comic Con and look up where, where they're going to be because they're just starting to announce them. Oz Comic Con is in September, if I remember correctly. Yes. Around the, yeah. around the middle of September. Um, Supernova Sydney gets all the cool people. Yeah, Supernova That's Sydney is, is June 19th to 21st. I have the website up, so I'm cheating. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've got of Gold Coast, then we've got Sydney, yeah, then we've got Comic Con, then we've got Gold, um, Brisbane. Yeah. It was a busy weekend, um, busy um, convention this year. Yeah, well, yeah. I, I was looking at potentially going to, um, and I, I look at doing this every year, potentially going to Hawaii Con, but every single time I'm like, yay, time to go to Hawaii Con, I was Comic Con goes, Amanda Tapping, and I'm just like, ah! <laughs> so, yeah. well, Last year it was Teal'c and um, Ronan. Ronan. Yeah. yeah. You gotta, gotta admit, that was really funny to watch. Teal'c chased Ronan out of the signing booths while holding a lightsaber. <laughs> the fuck of what? <laughs> yeah, he was. I Teal'c like was attacking. Um, Jason Teal'c Momoa. Attacking, yeah, just Chris Judge was attacking Jason Mano Momoa with a lightsaber that he nicked off one of the fans. Oh, wow. I, I, speaking of speaking of Jason Momoa, we should we should briefly uh, mention 
he may have sh uh, sh uh, shot fired at Arthur. Yeah, shots fired is one way of putting it. So uh, during a uh, during a, uh, uh, a signing, I can't remember where the convention is. Let me just uh, get it. Why don't we have video of that tilt chasing oh, Jason? Yeah, that's, that's... I tried. My my video camera was flat. Sorry, at the yeah. time. So uh, uh, at Indiana Comic Con, a fan uh, met Jason Moore and asked him and asked him to uh, sign um, a poster saying, "What's your message to Marvel fans?" He wrote, "Fuck Marvel." Big letters, very yeah. unsubtle. Uh oh. Shot. That's not shot. Shot. That's not shot. Fired. Fired. That's dropping a giant space station on your head. Yeah. Oh, and to make things even funnier, back when the Dark Knight first came out, Robert Downey Jr. Uh, got asked the same thing, and he writes, "Fuck DC Comics." <laughs> like this is back <laughs> when when Batman was just starting to come big again. Yeah. Back in the days of Iron Man 2. This predates Iron Man. <gasps> the, not the, the, the <laughs> second one does. Yeah. But the se <laughs> second one was in. I don't know, whatever. <sighs> You're fired. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah. Other, we... um, other not um, notable uh, guests for Gold Coast Nova. Wait, Rebecca, just for the record, the f um, you, I hate you for one reason, and this is nothing to do with you. But you had fucking Stan Lee, and we didn't. You win, <laughs> and we hate you. I got you to see you. Him. You I get Nathan Fillion. You get Nathan Fillion. We hate you. <laughs> what are you bitching about this time? Oh, no. everything. Anyways, okay. yeah. Four minutes. No, we don't. We've got three. So, so, Stuart, go. What are you saying? Something about something that I'm not listening to? Uh, uh, notable guests for uh, Golden Nova. Ah, yes. Uh, from Arrow, we have Willa Holland and Manu Bennett. Uh, Willa Holland plays Thea, yes. Speedy, and obviously Manu is, is Deathstroke. Yep. Uh, for Power Rangers, we have Jason David Frank, who is Tommy, who is the, the Green Ranger. Green. He is light, more uh, likely the Technicolor Ranger. Yeah. He, he's, he's been, been green. Color. He's been white. He's been two shades of red and black, just black. a good measure. Yeah. Mm. Technicolor uh, Ranger. Semantics. We have, uh, we have. I'm gonna get this name wrong. Danai Gurira, Gurira, uh, Michonne from work from Walking Dead. Penguin. Then, Don't forget Penguin. Yes, I'm getting to him. Robin Lord Taylor, uh, Cobblepot, uh, Oswald Cobblepot from Gotham. Penguin. I cannot wait to meet him. Oh, That's gonna Penguin. be awesome. Yes. Um. Ah, uh, here we go. Kevin McNally, Gibbs from Pirates of the Caribbean. Yes, that's awesome. Arr. Because they're filming pirates up here, I put in to be an extra, I didn't get it, so I hate all of them by default. Because I'm just that vindictive. Um, and don't worry, I Rebecca. Can, oh, we, 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 don't worry, Rebecca, we actually love you. We just, we just, we just, We're afraid to say it because we don't know how you feel about us. And we, we don't want to get a bad response. And... She says she likes us. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah. so The Pirates of the Caribbean is filming on the Gold Coast right now. Um, yeah. It's going to be filming right up to and after when Nova's on. So Nova sort of went, um, guys, you got a really good PR spot right here. Convention, send us some people. And they went, eh, you all can right. have those two lamos. <laughs> to, be, to be fair, Gibbs has been all, in all the movies, so he's, he's a relative character. Yeah, he is. He's actually really good. I almost wish that I'd gotten... There was, there was a set they released over in the States of the, I think it was the DVDs or the Blu-rays, which had the Black Pearl. Yeah. I was like, oh, what? Why release it over here? And then they didn't. And I was like, oh. Anyway, we have a minute left. So, time to do the goodbyes. And... For another week. <laughs> time to do the goodbyes and everybody goes quiet. Quiet. <laughs> yep. <sighs> okay. Uh, wow, that smile. music is a tad loud. Good night. <laughs> Bye, everybody. There. So next week we might have something a little special lined up. I'm not exactly sure what, but oh well, you get that. So have fun. Check out the page. We're currently voting on which ship should be the scout ship in our hero fleet for our next vote. And we're also voting on which video game is the best sci-fi video game. First person shooters first. And we'll work out the details for the rest later. Anyway, have fun and we will see you later. Bye. Bye. Hurry Goodbye. up.
upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down, upside down.